Fair use is really a critically important tool for all kinds of creators. Let's just talk about journalists. Um, journalists every day uh, quote from documents that they get. They um, they refer to audiovisual material that they show clips of. They quote from their, their peers' work and build on it. Uh, successive stories build on previous stories. And all of that involves the possibility that you are going to quote currently copyrighted material, which in you know is default copyrighted and is typically copyrighted through the copyright office when it's large companies. And you wouldn't be able to do that if you didn't have fair use. And fair use is the is the right, and it is a right. Um, it's a user's right to be able to use copyrighted material uh, when it's being used in a different context for a different purpose in an appropriate amount. So you can have you can talk about the four factors in the law if you want. But basically, if you hung on to that concept of Different context, this isn't about alterate, altering the thing itself. It's about putting it in a different context. Different context, different purpose, um, appropriate amount. And you know, sometimes an appropriate amount is 100%. Say you're a journalist who says, here are two photographs of the same protest. And one was taken by this a media outlet and one was taken by that media outlet. Uh, what does this say about the perspective of those two media outlets? You wouldn't want a third of the, either of those photographs. You'd want the whole thing. So this is, uh, this is a right that's invoked every single day by journalists. Interestingly, when journalists invoke it in print, they never think about the fact that they're using fair use. They say things like, I have the first amendment, I have the right to quote that. They are totally right, they do. And copyright would prohibit them from using their first amendment rights if it weren't for those exceptions. So those exceptions are preserving the constitutionality of copyright by letting them use their first amendment rights by invoking fair use. Why would it be important for, fair, for journalists to understand their fair use rights? Well, that would be because they're much less comfortable about employing their fair use rights when it comes to non-text stuff. They say things like, well, I'm, I, I think I'm going to have to clear that music that I heard in the, in the protest with Warner Brothers, who owns the copyright to it. Well, not if, it, in, if what you're doing is reporting on the protest and you're capturing the protester singing that song in the in the service of telling viewers what happened at the protest, and you're not capturing the entire song in order to give them the enjoyment of the song itself, which typically journalists wouldn't want to do anyway because it would be too long. But um, that's a really, that's just one of many examples of things that happen to journalists every single day. If they do understand their fair use rights, uh, then they're in a much better position to perform 21st century journalism that would be using music, it would be using uh, uh, photographs, it would be using audiovisual material, it would be multimedia in order to express today's reality. Uh, fortunately, they have a set of principles in fair use that they can find at uh, cmsimpact.org journalism.